Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pathway. I am pretty excited about this game. I only just heard about it a few days ago. It is apparently a retro style, as you can tell, uh, game, adventure game of some sort that uh, is very heavily inspired by Indiana Jones, which is one of my favorite franchises. Uh, I've got a bit of a different setup going on specifically the camera angle. I will have to figure that out because I don't really like how close it is, but um, it, oh, we did the, the closing thing. Let's try that again. Um, I'm trying a PC game for the first time. I mean, not for the first time. I mean, doing a let's play of a PC game. I have a gaming laptop. Um, hey, hey, stop stupid cats uh i have a gaming laptop which uh this thing has pretty good specs because it's for gaming but obviously because it's a laptop it does have a lot of drawbacks so um oh we're getting right into it here aren't we <laughs> my cats i'm gonna murder them okay so, uh, yes, my first, I'm excited, my first time doing a PC game for a Let's Play. It, it what? Oh. Let's do No Ball Pain It. There we go. Okay. First, and listen to that music. Let's see, even the music is very Indiana Jones. Let's see, where is, there we go. I think that's what we want there. Yes, I now that I have the capture card, I can do PC games, which is what it, I guess that doesn't really matter a whole lot <clears throat> cuz you know, the graphics obviously it's retro. We're not really too worried about the graphics, so let's confirm the changes. Hopefully that doesn't screw everything up. Yes, let's keep that. Okay. All right. I think we are ready to get into it. So yeah, this is a Indiana Jones inspired game. I have no idea how it plays. I don't know what the controls are like. Maybe I should just real quick look and see what we're dealing with here. Camera up, mouse cursor. Wow, and we get weapons and stuff too. I, there will probably be a tutorial or something, famous last words. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we're gonna get right into this. So let's, let's get started. More info in Codex. Whenever you see this notification blinking, you can click on this button to see more information on the current context. You can disable this in the options screen. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at all of this stuff. Pathway consists of a series of individual adventures that gradually increase in difficulty. Oh, great. Uh, at the start of an adventure, you need to assemble a team from the total available unlocked and uninjured characters. The number of characters in your team depends on the adventure. Hmm. Select your team members. Okay. So that's just showing me that. At the start of the game, all adventures are locked apart from the starting adventure. Each completed adventure automatically unlocks the next adventure. Okay. All right, let's read this. The year is 1936, and Nazi activity is increasing in intensity by the day. Tirelessly, they send their expeditions into the vastness of the deserts and the inhospitable hellhole mountains of the Middle East, North Africa, Arabia. What could the armies of evil be looking for? What indeed? Every expedition is different. In Pathway, you send a group of intrepid adventurers on perilous expeditions. They must win turn-based battles, uncover ancient... Oh, it's tur awesome! Turn-based, that's awesome. Uh, ancient secrets and manage their fuel supplies to ensure they arrive in time to thwart the evil plans of their merciless enemies. Every expedition is different in Pathway. This is because, in addition to the, a basic outline, expeditions are always assigned a random series of new events. Even events that you may have encountered before can take unexpected turns either through chance or because of the different composition of your team. Interesting. Very interesting. So, okay. 
So let's, okay, select an adventure. A friend in need. Brief Casablanca, Morocco. You receive a desperate plea for help. Your old friend Morton has been abducted by the Nazis and taken to the Moroccan desert. You decide to travel to North Africa immediately to find Morton before the Germans execute him. What is this? Enemy strength. Tweak how strong your opponents are. Both their health and damage will be adjusted. Lower for more cash. Okay. Difficulty. What does this mean? Okay. Let's just... Okay. Enemy health. Actually, I th that's probably normalish. We'll start with normal. I don't... I hate playing games in hard. I just do not do that. And I do not see the appeal of it at all. Oh, I've got cash. I've got 500 monies. Okay, here we go. I hope that didn't just crash the whole game. It did? Wait. So I am currently waiting for my computer to start up. Again, it is restarting as we speak. Never fear, we will have this under control, I hope. My computer, my laptop has actually been having issues for a little while. I'm getting afraid that I might have to do something with it, like destroy it. But we will see. Anyway, I actually... <laughs> I wanted to share, actually. I got a... I just realized I got an email this morning... Oh my goodness. From Anonymous Hacker. So you you know it's going to be good. You know right away it's going to be good. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> the, the title is, This is My Final Warning, and then it has my email address. And then it, uh, it says, You have the final chance to save your social life. I am not kidding. I give you the last 72 hours to make the payment except it's like a weird giant d symbol instead of a p on the word payment i don't really know what's happening there before i send the video with your masturbation to all your friends and associates the last time you visited a erotic website with young teens you downloaded and automatically installed the spy software spy spelled with a dollar sign that i created my program has turned on your camera and recorded the act of your masturbation and the video you were watching while masturbating. I have both the joeharrison.mp4 with your masturbation and a file with all your contacts on my hard drive. You are very perverted. Yes, preverted. And then he goes on to talk about how um, he wants me to send him bitcoins of all things. Bitcoins. Are, you, are those even still a thing? I didn't think those were a thing anymore. You can visit the police, but nobody will help you. I know what I am doing. <laughs> Don't try to deceive me. I will know immediately. My spy soft is recording all the websites you visit and all keys you press. If that's true, then why not just hack into my, you know, bank accounts and stuff? That is very entertaining. You know, it, it reminds me of uh, an episode of Black Mirror where, um, there was a hacker who was basically holding people hostage virtually, I guess, by making them do things uh, because if they didn't, it would release incriminating details of them. And um, some of some the, the one of them or I think was it both the last two people? I don't remember, but it basically had the last two people uh, have a fight to the death. And I don't remember if it was both of them or just the one person was into like child pornography or something, which that's pretty terrible. But, you know, any stuff that I've ever looked at is not that. And I was just thinking, you know, what would happen if, how how would I react if, if anything like that ever did happen and it got recorded and it got sent out to all my friends and stuff? I don't know. I, I Would it be humiliating? Sure, sure. But I just, I don't, I don't know what this says about me, but it, I don't necessarily see it as some big thing that would 
make me feel like my life is over or anything like that. I don't know what that says about me, but, uh, yeah, so that's a thing, um, that might happen it, to all my friends and family in the next 72 hours, you may receive a video you don't want to see called, apparently it's called a Joe Harrison dot MP4. Maybe they'll put it on my YouTube. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun for people to see, wouldn't it? That would be, that would be awesome for people to see. I would, I would not like that, but again, not the worst thing that I can think of to have happen to me. All right, let's, uh, this is loading up. Let's start recording the screen here and let's try to get back into this. I wonder if it didn't like that I put it on full screen. So I'm going to try going back to windowed mode. This may take a couple of seconds here. Isn't it, isn't my screen gorgeous, by the way? 1080p. 1080p. Oh, and by the way, I will be getting back to Amnesia. Uh, it's just, I don't really have the time to really get into that. I was only going to spend a few minutes doing this. I'm doing this while my wife is taking a nap. And uh, you see how that turned out. I just wasted like, well, I didn't waste it. My computer just wasted like 10 minutes effing around like it's always doing. So uh, let's see if we can get this to work here in just a couple of minutes. But yes, I will be, I will get back to Amnesia probably next week um, because I'm going to be in Chicago over the weekend, so I will not have time to record anything, but uh, I will be back to it next week, hopefully. And I don't know what's going to happen with this video. It may just decide to not work, and then you will have a half-assed Let's Play where nothing happens. That is entirely possible. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Yes to all of this. Okay, select your team members. Uh, let's see, Jackson Sheffield, American, Gl I was gonna say Globetrotter. Globetrotter, assault rifle expert, good aim and endurance, bad reflexes, limited upgrade options. Interesting, oh boy. Uh, Natalia Shushkova, Russian scientist, capable leader, flexible upgrade paths. I'll say. You see those pixels? I, I see them. Rather fragile, mediocre aim. Does this remind me of Jumanji? Welcome to the jungle. J the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. J Jumanji, welcome to the jungle with uh, Kevin Hart's character. And one of his weaknesses is strength. Um, all right. Let's just, because I want to get into this. Let's, um, I, I, I had to wait. Okay. There's one. And let's do Let's, I mean, I should not phrase it that way. Let's do this. Okay. What did that do? Okay. Is this stuff I need to, oh, Jeep storage. Okay. So I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. This is going to be a learning experience. Light armors enable your character to use the ability sprint, allowing them to cover a much longer distance in one move click to continue oh it said click and i touched the keyboard what the frick am i doing you take a break in a provincial backwater a few miles beyond casablanca this is the last outpost of civilization beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert morton is out there somewhere I can't believe they got Randy Travis to do a voice in this. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at all this stuff. So is this like a legit RPG? You check somewhere in Morocco. You check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. Done. My journey is done. Okay. Somewhere, this is your current location. Unvisit you have not visited this location. You're not... Uh, there is a trader at this location. This location can be revisited multiple times. Okay, let's go here. Why not? Oh, look at my cute little Jeep. Hi, not, my name's Lucas. An ancient burial ground, the desert wind moans softly through the sun-bleached tombstones of this long-abandoned place. Huh, that's cool. Interesting. So... 
Okay, I just want to make sure I don't... I'm not controlling anything in this little window here. Okay, done. Okay. So I guess you just keep going to different places until something happens. Uh, a palm grove. The palm grove is pleasantly shady as you relax and enjoy the shade. A cobra suddenly rears up from between some boulders. Oh no, not a cobra. The angry snake sways from side to side. It spreads its hood and hisses like a, like a, like a cockroach. I forgot what the name was, apparently. It is defending its territory. Um... Yeah, it's only- it's defending it- But wait, what is that? That looks like a person. What if it's a person in the- I'm gonna attack. This choice may yield a positive or negative outcome. Jackson draws his weapon and aims carefully as the snake's head sways from side to side increasingly aggressively. Jackson pulls the trigger, a direct hit! With appropriate respect, you survey the huge creature lying lifeless at your feet. After your initial shock subsides, you investigate the rest of the area. You find a German soldier lying face down in the sand. The man obviously had worse reflexes than you. You see a German army crate next to the body and grab it unceremoniously. How terrible. How rude. Uh, okay. Worn officer's leather gloves car fuel use it to fill up your jeep your jeep your tanks jeep okay oh okay oh it just went into my valuables okay man this is awesome i like this a lot this is really fun let's go let's do this let's do this next oh a settlement. You reach the outer buildings of a small settlement. A ass surprise awaits you at the... <coughs> yes. It's a brand new Jeep. An ill-tempered looking man stands beside the... It's a Jeep for me to have. I just know it. Angry man. I gave a dozen good camels for this worthless heap of junk. Shame be on my head. Something is wrong with the Jeep. Perhaps this is an opportunity for you? Question mark. What happens if I... You soon reach an agreement. The man sells you all his gas at a reasonable... What? I... I want to know what said reasonable... Oh, okay. I, was, I thought they were gonna... Okay, we got a pocket knife. For pockets. For your pocket to wield. So it can fight alongside you. A bulletproof vest, a medium ammo box, painkiller, that's probably something I'm going to want. Let's buy one of those just to, just for to have. Um, I guess let's get that too. This is fun. I like this. Okay. I guess I, and I guess I can't. Yeah, okay. I have to go through. I have to go in. in it, it. What is this? Green? Why is it? Oh, because it's the only one I can go to. Okay, let's do this. What does that mean? Why is there a bullseye? A desert temple. You spot a group of soldiers by the temple ahead of you. They have not noticed you yet as you throw yourself to the ground. Continue. Oh, look, at, look at the doggies. Look at the German Nazi doggos. You suddenly hear a shrill whistle. Uh, the guards have spotted you. The soldiers grab their weapons as you scramble for cover. Oh, roll for initiative. Here we go. It's about to get real. Uh oh, okay. Planning phase. Awesome. This is so cool. I love this. Okay, so we've got. The attack dogs here. Okay, they're over here. Um, okay, so I'm controlling Jackson at the moment. What does that mean? So we've got a shock trooper and three attack dogs. What is this? Nothing. Okay, I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so I guess all I can do at this point is move. 
Position Natalia inside the... Hmm. She is fragile, so we want to be careful with her. But she does have a pistol, so she could be helpful. All right, player turn. Okay, okay. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. We have ranged attack. Burst fire allows you to target enemies within a straight connected line, such as this. Uh, it uses one ammo for every target inside the targeted area. Mouse wheel to rotate orientation. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Um, attack a single target within the weapon's range. Knife attack. Knife attack a target on a neighboring tile. Bleed causes melee damage and additional damage to the following turns. Requires two bravery. Is this my bravery here? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. That is absolutely my bravery. I have a bravery of three. Of three. Thank you very much. Walk. Move within the character's walk range. The range is determined by the character's agile Liddy. And low profile. When in low profile... <laughs> When in low profile, this character receives an evade bonus of 40% in the current turn and during the next enemy turn. Requires one bravery. End player turn. Okay. All right. Why is my... I have a, a question. Why is my back turned is what I would like to know. Okay. Let's try... I guess he is within... Okay. So this is the range. All right. Let's try this. Nice. Okay, and now I can. I guess I. I. I, I guess I can walk. So I. Okay. Where do? I, I guess we'll do that. Look out, enemy ahead. Okay, and now her. Yes, I killed up Nazi. It's my lifelong amb ambition. Ooh, and I got an achievement for. First blood. Okay, and now where are the other guys? I wish. Okay, there we go. Oh, is but. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can use the wazd. Oh, they're all over here. Okay. 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 End player turn. Okay, it's an enemy turn. Okay. What are you? Oh, here. No, I don't want to hurt the doggo. Where'd you? That was a nice little disappearing. Why wow, you are going a long way? Whoa. Oh no, they're gonna flank us! Oh, don't do that, bad freaking dog! Bite! Oh, that's not a dog. Player miss. Okay. All right, so let's attack the doggo. Even though I don't really want to <laughs> punch the dog. Sometimes that's all you need. What is their health? 23. Um, okay, let's... Uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's not something I like. Okay, and let's have you run up here. Um, toggle to move range. I'm guessing I can't actually... Oh, I can. Apparently I can shoot through walls. I think he got the massage. That's good. Okay, um, let's go over here. And end turn. Enemy turn. What are you gonna do? Oh, it's an. Oh yeah, that's right. There were three. Ah, don't hurt me, please. Oh. Don't. Oh. Ooh, miss. Nice. Stupid nazis. Okay. Um, first up is. What? Why don't we try? Oh, wait, it was her that had the... Let's do that. Oh, I really don't like that. I feel like I'm Alexander in Amnesia. All of the all of the sudden. Okay, let's move here. And is he... No, he is not in range. Shinto. Beans. Okay, uh, let's go here then. Oh, good. G-Force Game Driver is ready. That is nice to know. Uh, how's my health? Okay, I'm doing... I'm not doing too bad. Reload. Okay. Enemy turn. Oh, here he comes. What? Why are you... 
Oh, you son of a dish. I need medical attention immediately. All right, let's... Ah, thank you. Okay, ooh, and I can shoot attack 38%. Eh. Okay. Now, can I... Can I move and do an action? Yes, I can. Okay. And I will shoot you as well. Sweet! We did it. Victory! Damage dealt, 188. Shot accuracy, 100%. Time taken, 628. Four turns. Reload all weapons. I guess I... Well, sure, why not? <laughs> We're all adults here. The armors allow your character to... Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, reveal all... Oh, okay, yeah. Let's reveal all items. Officer's glove, value $50. Repair all, all and leather patch. Or I guess it's AWL and leather patch. When needle and thread just aren't enough. Okay. What are they? I guess they're for repairing something or other. Ammo and spoiled field ration. That sounds very appetizing. Done. All right. Um, how are we all doing here? We got 50, 50, and 30, 40. Okay. Let's go to this thing. So, whoa. Somewhere in the desert, you take a short break when a sudden shot shatters the silence. Fountains of sand explode at your feet. You immediately take cover and scan the rocky landscape with your eyes, but you cannot see the shooter. You rush out to scour the surrounding area, but your search is in vain. Warily, you continue your journey, but the mysterious attacker does not strike again. Okay, let's go to another place. Somewhere in the desert, your attention is drawn to a strange circular stone formation in the desert sand. You take a closer look at the area and uncover several strange objects hidden in the sand. They are arranged in a circle. You do not have the slightest idea what you have discovered. I don't know why I was talking like a robot, but why not? So our choices are inspect the area. This choice may yield a positive or negative outcome. Then there's examine the object. Engineer, this option uses a character perk. It may yield a positive or negative outcome. Your perk will, however, improve your chance of success significantly. All right. Hmm. Examine. Let's try this. The strange object is made of an obsidian-like material. Its surface looks like molten and solid stone simultaneously. Natalia grabs excitedly at the objects scattered in the sand. Suddenly, a strange humming passes through the objects. Some invisible force seizes them and throws them together. The resulting structure begins to glow. Whoa, it's a Stargate! That's awesome! That is... The man-sized stone wheel hovers in front of you at chest level, connected to the pedestal below by a mysterious invisible force. A pulsating light fills the interior of the stone wheel. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. I love this. I love this game. Gamble on the choice. Okay, let's, why not? Pick a character to investigate the strange wheel. Yeah, I just realized my name's Jackson, too, like from Stargate. Um, I guess we'll have Jackson do it. He touched it. Touched. When Jackson places his index finger on the light source, you hear a humming sound. Then the light goes out and the stone wheel crashes to the ground. When Jackson turns to you, there is a strange glint in his eyes. Jackson, I feel fantastic. Jackson, kissed by the eons. Huh. I guess that's a good thing. By the, the fragments lay strewn in a circle on the sand. Award 100 HP. Huh. Or XP, rather, not HP. 
Awesome. I guess. Oh, oh. May use daredevil event options. And Natalia is a medical expert and an engineer. Very nice. A friend in need. This is really. This is really freaking awesome. I, I'm gonna. I'll put a link to this down in the description. You. You need to play this game because. It's awesome. I'm loving everything about this. All right, let's, uh, so I'm here. What is, what is this for me? Let's, let's make our way back over. Oh, it fuel. I didn't think about that. Okay. Does it, is it using fuel up every time I do that? Yes, it is. Okay. Good to know. What, what do you mean? No more gas. Okay. I was just stupid just then. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to go get some gas. This is that reminds me we're not going to make it far with the fuel. Okay. I I I I, I get it. I got it. I get it. I should have figured this is like um it's like Duskers, which is another game I would like to play eventually. Um Okay, so let's get some fuel. Um, can I s sell this stuff? Okay. Okay, I guess that was a good thing to do. Okay, and we get that. Okay. Um, uh, what happens? I have a question. What happens if I run out of fuel? Hmm. Because, see, I kind of want to go look at this. I don't know what that symbol means. But I'm going to end up using a bunch of fuel to do that. And I don't know what happens when I run out. I guess I'm about to find out. All right, somewhere in the desert, you see a huge cloud of dust slowly moving towards you. Confused, you come to a stop. You soon realize that a large convoy of trucks is heading your way. It must be Germans. Continue. You hastily take cover in a nearby depression. Aw, that's sad. Hopefully the surrounding dunes will hide you from the soldiers. The noise of the engines gets louder. After what seems like an eternity, the engine noise slowly fades into the distance and you breathe a sigh of relief. The Germans did not spot you. Any gas stations nearby? When you've used up the last drop of gas, your jeep finally gives up the ghost and sputters to a halt. You exchange looks of consternation and constipation. <clears throat> Will you continue your journey on foot or give up? Hmm. So let's see what happens when we continue on foot. What does that mean for us as a people? Oh, it uses up health. That's lovely. That's terrible. All right, we're going to go to one more place, and then I will end this <laughs> episode. Uh, oh, wait, did she just... Did she just die? Between a handful of rocks, you are temporarily fascinated by a spider nest. Soon you jump back in your jeep drive off except I I, I, I okay uh, head bowed you stare silently ahead of you when you finally sit down exhausted you feel totally drained so tired I think I just killed that woman you look up the sound of so you look up at the sound of soft paws in the desert sands. Emerging from between the rocks, you spot a German shepherd dog. Instinctively, you reach for your weapon, but the animal appears to be alone, just like you. Has it I did kill her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just did that. Hesitantly, the black dog trots toward you and sniffs at you suspiciously. Friend and helmer, just when you think it's all over, click here to claim. Oh, it's a doggy! As you scratch it at his neck, you find a German do dog tag. Fenris, huh? D 
Did, you, did they treat you badly, you little deserter? The dog yaps eagerly. I guess it would be more like, Frederick's son, did they treat you badly, you little deserter? Because I'm like, he, well, not I, Jackson's like not doing too well. The dog yaps eagerly. Yap! Just like that. As if in agreement, he then pants excitedly and wags his tail. So he's wearing pants. A wave of confidence flows through you. You get in the car. Again, I do not have the... And pat encouragingly on the passenger seat. Jackson, come, ho come on, boy. We've got work to do. Continue. I can't believe I killed one of the characters. I mean, actually, I take that back. Oh, woo, woo, woo. I can believe it, actually. I killed whatever her name was. Natalia. Wow. That is so me. That is so typically me. So anyway, <laughs> that's all the time I have for in this episode. I like this. I like this a lot. This is a fun fun game and i am looking forward to continuing this and uh definitely check this out if you're into this sort of thing i highly recommend it and uh i will definitely be picking this back up again uh i have to go get packed because i'm on my way to chicago to uh star wars celebration so i'm sure i will be doing updates while i'm away i hope you enjoyed this Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. Check the link in the description for this game, this awesome, awesome game. We definitely need to support this, because this is fantastic. I love this. So yeah, be on the lookout for more videos, and I will check you later.